Paul was going to do this tonight, but the Lord froze his face. So he sent me. I learned this from my dad all, who learned it from Great Grant, and took it on from Reverend Solomon Bracewood, who had him a mule ministry around these parts way back when. My dad all taught Miss Ellie, my mom, and my brother Jamie. He was in it too, before he went to Detroit. See what I got in here is snakes. A lot of people don't like snakes. Gives it its nature, I guess. This here is water bottle. Jamie, he said they got the dirtiest, nastiest bite of all. Well, Rattler's is the biggest. A lot of venom. You milk you and Rattler, you can half fill up the juice glass. Dow said Jamie should do Rattler's, but he never. Did heads, copper heads. Now, they're slower and safer, but it ain't such a good show. Miss Ellie, she favored moccasins. Dow, too. Well, Dow heated all kinds, all ways. Your moccasin now, he's your good old boy snake. Flat out mean and lots to get up and go. Heck, they'll chase you. They will. Old dad off, he didn't like to sell you enough. You lay off them mocks before they lay you down. Made Miss Ellie laugh. <laughs> a lot of hammers think moccasins are slimy. Couldn't get me to touch one. They'll do gathers, though. Got him a nice dry feel. A little bit sandpaper. Rather can find you in the pitch dark, though. They get on to your body heat. Snake hand. All oh, my blood does it. Only dad on me now, though. Snake handling with the holiness church. Down where I come from, we take God pretty serious. You got the spirit, snake don't bite. If he bites you, you know you ain't got the spirit. It makes the difference real clear now, don't it? <laughs> it's right there in the scripture. Mark chapter 16, verses 17 and 18. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak in new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they shall drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Don't figure it could be much clearer than that. There's some churches don't use snakes. Use strychnine. Powder, poison. Same idea, though. They mix it with a little cherry Kool-Aid, sing them a hymn, drink it up, and then just stand around waiting to see if they fall over. Ain't much of a show. Not like snakes. <laughs> Dad all this fire, but I can't. Gets himself a Coke bottle, puts some kerosene in it, sticks a rag in the top, and lights it up. Passes it down his arm, puts it under his chin, sticks his hand in it. You know, stuff like that. They say there's some new blow torches down in Tennessee. I don't know. Jamie gave it a try for a bit to Detroit. Just about burned his ass behind off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> when I handle, I can in this box. Dad'll give me this and some old high ball on my ninth birthday. Sometimes I'll just open up the lid and stick my foot in her. Maybe put it open side to my chest. There's some light to the face. I don't scare my eyes. During service, we take them right out and pass them around. It's more dangerous than a single handler. Snake is comparing who got the spirit a whole lot and who just got some. Somebody's just about bound to come second. <laughs> don't get me wrong now. You don't die every time you're bit. I've been bit seven times, four times by the same serpent. Dad said he got the sweet tooth for me. Dad will be bit 32 times and never seen him a doctor. Used to let me kiss him on the marks. Last one got him here. Throws him right up. Dad all says he'll fall, but I don't know. Day after Jamie took off, Miss Ellie did moccasin standing in the back of the pickup over the hard bird. Shouldn't ought to, because her mind weren't there. Cold truck backfired and she got bit. Snake bit her three more times before she hit the ground. Dad all laid hands on her, but she died anyway. There was ten of us handling at the funeral. Snake handling. Snake knows what you feel. You can fool the person, but you can't fool the snake. You got the spirit, God locks their jaws. Keeps you safe. Tell you what, though. I don't believe in a God. Left me. Gone with Miss Ellie. I was handy when I knew it sure. Snake was just coming on down the line. Marie, she yells out, The Lord, Lord's in me and with me. In me and with me. Noah, he was you, a lady talking in tongues. 
Help the boats with rolling and singing. Dad always came and switched grips. Had Miss Ellie's wedding ring on his little finger. And it came on me. Heck, there ain't no God in here. There's just a bunch of shouters getting trains. There ain't no God in here at all. About that time, they laid the serpent to me. They'll fuss me, nasty, just looking for an excuse. And I was an empty vessel, worse than our Pharisee, grist for the mill. My blood was so cold, I could have cracked ice cubes. Snake knew, started to get leverage. So I said, Snake, you safe handmaid. You're right, there ain't no God in me. I'm just a woman. But I'm the only woman in my dad's house, and he needs me home. Out of his faith and his need, you lock your jaws. I let that snake feel a child's pure love, and it sponged up off my hands, and then old Wiggly went limp. I tranced it. It was a real good service. Didn't nobody have to get bit. Yes, you got to believe. Holiness Church is dead right about that. Makes me wonder, you know. I get to looking at people and I wonder if they got anything in them that could lock a serpent's jaw. Any love or power or spirit or whatever. I get to look at them and I wonder, could they handle? Tell you what though, you can see it in the face. You can read it. You look me full in the face, it don't take me 30 seconds. It's like I was a snake, some old pit viper, and I can read your heart. Maybe you can handle it, maybe you can't. But there's but one sure thing in this world, you're empty, you're gonna get bit.